Hello everybody, this is Michael Campbell and this is Pulse of the World, March 18th, 2020. Here at Glossika, we want to listen to the world and understand what the world is saying in their own language. In this clip, we're going to take a look at headlines from around the world. And don't forget to come learn a language on Glossika. Trending items, St. Patrick's Day 2020. In French news, uh, they're talking about Saint Patrick. In Italian news, San Patrizio non si arrende al coronavirus. La parata si fa comunque ma sui social. So the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day festivities haven't surrendered to the virus, but the parade is going on on social media. Also in Italian news, Terremoto in Calabria. There's been an earthquake that occurred in Calabria with a magnitude of 3.9. In Spanish news, festejos uh, por día de San Patricio. Again, here's the word for St. Patrick, San Patricio. Quedan suspendidos. Los defiles y fiestas del martes fueron cancelados en todo el mundo. Again, they're talking about the cancellation of the festivities. In Russian news, Dien Sviatva Patrika. Again, here's um, the same thing, a St. Patrick's Day news. Kak coronavirus viernul praznik kukornyam. How the coronavirus has returned the holiday to its roots. Uh, there have been articles written about that topic. Again, um, let's talk about uh, trending people in the news um, from the U.S. We have Mo Willems, an author and illustrator of kids' books. He's popular right now with kids who are out of school. Arnold Schwarzenegger and his tiny horses urge people to stay home. And while in his video, he's almost strangled them to death. French news, Dushka Esposito, a French singer, claims, Je fais un burnout médiatique. I've had a media burnout. In Italian news, we have Silvio Berlusconi donerà 10 milioni di euro alla regione Lombardia per gli sforzi contro il coronavirus. So he's going to donate 10 million euro in the fight against the virus. Trending in Spanish news, we have the person Hugo Lopez Catell, who is a Mexican physician a specialist in internal medicine and master in medical sciences. Training in Brazil, we have Yasmin Brunet, Elise Regina, and Tom Brady uh, in, in Esporte, the news about sports. Also, Mandetta and the impeachment of Bolsonaro. Uh, in German news, we have Friedrich Merz, and he's the center-right German lawyer and politician, with German media saying that Merz ist an Corona erkrankt. Er hat sich infiziert. So he's the top candidate to succeed Merkel, and he has tested positive for the virus. Trending in Russian news, we have Olga Zarubina. And in Taiwanese news, we have uh, Xiao Fengxian, Guo Bao Ji, Ge Zai Xi, Da Shi, Xiao Fengxian, Si Shi. So um, a national treasure. Uh, in in um, one of the um, one of the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the, the people, one of these uh, like opera singers has passed away. Also trending in Taiwan news is Fan Zhi Wei. Um, in Indonesia, actor Idris Elba dinyatakan positif terjangkit virus corona. Uh, so it appears that the actor Idris Elba has tested positive for the virus. Going on to government news in the U.S. stimulus ch uh, check Trump pitches $850 billion stimulus package over the coronavirus. UK is in lockdown with 14 more coronavirus deaths. DFAT, or Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in Australia, urges all Australians to return home while they still can. Canada, Australia, and Malaysia are in lockdown. In Russian news, Russia zakroyet granitsy. Russia vosimnatsatov marta zakroyet Russia is closing all its borders to foreigners, starting from the 18th of March. In French news, télécharger l'attestation de dérogation de, uh, de sortie. Download the exit exemption certificate, starting for a minimum of 15 days. France is limiting exit, and if one must leave, one must fill out the form attestation de déplacement dérogatoire. In Brazil, Trump admits recession nos Estados Unidos por causa do novo coronavirus. Trump admits recession in the U.S. due to the coronavirus. And now onto the virus news itself. Trending in the U.S. Uh, COVID-19 testing near me. The latest on paying for COVID-19 testing and treatment. Be sure to get uh, tested if you are able to. I believe that this virus is in many of us. And many of us do not know that we have it because we still appear healthy. Don't spread it to your elderly uh, family, friends, even people you don't know. And it could be 
uh, very dangerous to them. In Australia, Victoria has recorded 23 new coronavirus cases overnight. Le Monde reports that la chloroquine, une piste pour lutter contre l'épidémie, uh, chloroquine, can anybody help me what that is? Uh, it is a way to fight the epidemic. Australian News reports that San Francisco is to wake up to empty streets. Taiwan News says the same thing. Cheng. So Cheng just means that they're uh, locking down the city. Um, coronavirus uh, News. Um, can I exercise my right of withdrawal? Um, we'll go on to see what um, the French are actually suggesting its citizens to do. C'est la très régulièrement. Uh, I'm sorry, se laver très régulièrement les mains. Wash your hands very regularly. Um, secondly, tousser ou atténuer dans son coude. Cough or sneeze into one's elbow. Utiliser un mouchoir à usage unique et la jeter. Use a disposable tissue. In Italian news, uh, Italy has announced Nova Modulo Autocertificazione Coronavirus, that is, a self certification form. Uh, in Italy, Italy is also announcing, and hopefully all of you watching have heard this by now, uh, ibuprofene, non prendere l'ibuprofene in caso di contagio. Secondo alcuni studi, l'antinfiammatorio peggiora le conseguenze del COVID-19. So don't take ibuprofen. According to studies, taking anti-inflammatories lead to complications of COVID-19. And let me add to that, one of those complications is death. In Spain, I'm sorry, in Spanish news, Secretaria de Educación Pública, confusión en el regreso a clases ante medidas por el coronavirus. So there seems uh, to be some confusion about whether students should be returning to classes. Also trending in Spanish media, media lavado de manos. Desde, de, desde que comenzó la pandemia del coronavirus, los uh, las autoridades y los expertos han sido enfáticos en la recomendación de lavarse las manos con agua y jabón para prevenir contagios. Uh, now, there has been some, some false news coming out of Brazil, and so we need to be very uh, careful and aware of false news. So, a Fundação Oswaldo Cruz, also known as Fiocruz, Desmente informações falsas atribuídas à instituição sobre o coronavírus. If you see statements like the following, they are false news because these statements are assuming we know more about the virus than we actually do yet. Number one, impede a sua entrada no organismo. We don't know that for a fact. Something is uh, é suficiente para destruí-lo ou eliminá-lo. We don't know what can actually destroy or eliminate this virus. So that's fake news. Um, suggestions about o virus morre quando exposto a uma temperatura of a certain amount. We don't know um, what under what temperatures this, uh, this virus is going to spread. So instead, you need to listen to the news of what we do know. And the Brazilian news is now uh, telling people pretty much the same thing that you're hearing from all over the world. Lavar as mãos frequentemente com água e sabonete por pelo menos 20 segundos. Evitar tocar nos, um, nos olhos, nariz e boca com as mãos não lavadas. So make sure that you do not touch uh, your face anywhere with unclean uh, hands. Evitar contato próximo com pessoas doentes. And don't uh, get into... Um, don't get close to sick people. And if you are, ficar em casa quando estive doente. Cobrir boca e nariz a torcer ou espirrar com um lenço de papel e jogar no lixo. Limpar e desinfetar objetos e superfícies tocados com frequência. So make sure that you are um, disinfecting your area around you. In German news, also al along the same lines, we have... Uh, announcements regarding Paracetamol, also known under the brand name Panadol. Die Weltgesundheitsorganisation, or WHO, WHO, rät Menschen bei Verdacht auf eine Infektion mit dem neuen Coronavirus davon ab, ohne ärztlichen Rat das Medikament Ibuprofen einzunehmen. Do not take Ibuprofen under any circumstances. Es gebe zwar keine neuen Studien, aus denen hervorgehe, dass Ibuprofen mit höherer Sterblichkeit verbunden sei. It's actually, um, 
the the it actually causes a higher uh, death rate and there's a, a direct uh, causation uh, between these two ibuprofen and uh, the death rate um, and und so sagte WHO Sprecher Christian Lindmeier am Dienstag in Genf Lindmeier sagte wir raten im Verdachtsfall Paracetamol und nicht ibuprofen einzunehmen also in German uh, news media Psychologen erklären das Hamstern von Toilettenpapier im Supermarkt so psychologists explain the hoarding of toilet paper, this uh, phenomenon that we're seeing. Also in German news, Corona Krise, Auswärtiges Amt spricht weltweite Reisewarnung aus. Federal Foreign Office issues worldwide travel warning. From Russian news, Vrasi Zapustili site Stolpe Coronavirus Dochke RF, Pravichestva Vrasi Zapustila Speciali site Stop Coronavirus Dochke RF, Dla Informar. So we're going to see this word a lot, in, in Russian, which means the spreading, the spreading of this uh, virus, of the virus. So, so they've um, set up this website, um, stopcoronavirus.rf. In Taiwan news, uh, those required to do uh, their 14-day quarantines, this is uh, trending in uh, Taiwan. Also, the Department of Health has released new line stickers with caricatures of Chen Shizhong, this man, teaching proper prevention measures. So Chen Shizhong actually has been appearing daily on news broadcasts throughout Taiwan describing the updates of the pandemic. And next in Taiwan, uh, regarding Wuhan Feiyan, or uh, that is regarding Wuhan pneumonia, so this is shocking news. The vice minister of the Olympic Committee in Japan has tested positive. And so he's had a meeting. It's worth noting that he's had meetings with the Asian Olympic Committee chairman. So or Han, uh, this person, Kai Hui, he's had a meeting with this person who is the Dong Ao Chou Wei Hui Zhu Xi. So Zhu Xi is the, the, the chairman of that of that um, Olympic Committee. Taiwan, So here we have the word again, meaning a confirmed case. Uh, so one of the universities has confirmed one of their students has tested positive. So they are now recalling their notice that the virus has entered the campus. In fact, they don't really know. Um, probably in highly likelihood that it has. Also in Taiwan news, Nambu Guoli Da Xue Chuan Yi Si Bing Li Xiao Fang Xiao Sorry, that's not Xiao Fang Xiao Fang Fa Chu Jing Ji Tong Shi Zu Wu Bai Ming Xue Sheng Dao Xiao Shang Ke So another university in the south of Taiwan has sent emergency notifications to 500 students not to attend classes due to suspected cases. And Indonesia, Indo, in Indonesian news, Bernaka virus corona suda diramal kandalambuku, end of days. Is the coronavirus really predicted in the end of days book? And in business from the US, what is WIC? It stands for women, infant, and children, a label found on specially produced food items for these people. Leave these items in stock for the people who need them because they can't switch to other foods. In the UK, Laura Ashley, a fashion house, their stock has collapsed due to coronavirus trading fears. Also in the UK, Car Phone Warehouse is announcing store closures that will cost 2,900 jobs. Also, Virgin Atlantic cancels most flights, news, um, uh, most of their flights. And then next is Cineworld. Most UK cinemas have been shut down. Morrison's in the UK is creating 3,500 new delivery jobs. So if you're out of a job, uh, go take a look at that. And Tesco, uh, both online and offline, is operating normally. In Germany, McDonald's shot at sich ab. So uh, McDonald's closing down over there. Um, VW stopped production wegen Krone Risiken. Um, Volkswagen is stopping production. In Russian news, online magazine Pirek Krostak, Chitelkraze Uvili Chili. And I think we're going to start seeing a, a lot more news like this 
particularly where online retailers start taking an ever-growing retail market share. So we're probably going to expect to see that uh, in the U.S. and in other news where companies like um, Amazon are taking a much larger share of uh, business. And then in Taiwan, we have uh, 疫情烧不到, Zoom 创办人远征, 今年剩价暴增, uh, so the founder of Zoom, Yuan Zheng, has seen his net worth skyrocket to 605 E. Uh, so how can we understand this figure, this number? First, I round the number to 600 E. So 605, 600, you get a round number, and drop a zero from the 600, so you get 60. And that, so that E, you drop a zero and it turns into a billion. So 600 E becomes, or Liu Bai E becomes 60 billion. Then since this is quoted in Taiwan dollars, I just divide by 30 to get 2 billion. So 60 divided by 30 is 2, and that comes out to 2 billion US dollars. The news goes on to say, uh, Zoom. So this American online conference company, Zoom, and it appears the, the founder has a Chinese name, Yuan Zheng, so it's probably a Chinese um founded company. So its stock price has soared. Okay, so his net worth has increased by 20 E Mei Yuan. So drop a zero from the 20. <coughs> so 20, 20 E. That, that's just me talking too much. I'm not sick right now. Hopefully. Okay, so drop a zero from the 20 E to get 2 billion. And Mei Yuan just means that it is already quoted in US dollars. Okay, moving on to sports. So NFL trades, NFL mock draft, and specifically Robert Quinn and James Bradbury are all trending in the news. It's decided that Euro uh, 2020 is being postponed until next year. In French news, Le Revent Vente reporte des du en, en, uh, en raison du coronavirus. Uh, in Italian news, Europei 2020 sono rinviati al 2021. Likewise in German news, EM wird verschoben bis in den Sommer 2021. In Russian sport, Sibir Ostana Villa prodaju biljetov na domashni igri playoff s Barisom. So Siberia has stopped selling tickets for home game playoffs with Baris. And finally, a Kazakhstan club at Kazal se pradojat chetvert final no yu serio playoff ke ha el iza rasprastranienye koronavirus no yu And there's that word rasprastranienye again. The Kazakhstan club has refused to continue the quarterfinal series, so chetvert final no yu serio, quarterfinal series of the um, KHL or KHL playoffs due to the spreading of the coronavirus coronavirus infections. And so that kind of gives you an idea of how um, people are referring to this virus, uh, the spreading of the virus around the world in the news right now. Thank you for listening and hope to be back with more.